What's going on guys? Today we have a acrylic humidor. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today we have an acrylic humidor, little jar box thingy. I'm gonna open it up, show you guys it right now. Just dive right into this without further delay. So very standard packaging. They're getting a little cheesy, uh, Tisfa, that is, with their packaging. Uh, the first few products I was getting from them, it was nice. Now it's just, you know, empty blank boxes and such. So, you know, if that matters to you guys, it matters if not, whatever. I, I, I'm one for presentation. So, you know, I mean, this, uh, this box is a little better. It just says cigar on it, cigar humidor. So whatever anyway here is the box so we got these little fake brass uh, clasp on it it's some sort of metal but not brass um, hydrometer on the front and this unit comes in two sizes so you have this this is the small size it is four inches wide four inches tall and eight inches long the bigger one is eight inches long, seven inches tall, and four inches wide. So this one holds 15 to 20 cigars, depending on how you stack it. And the bigger one holds 18 to 50, but it also comes with a nice Spanish cedar insert. So you can put the cigars vertically and they're separated. That holds 18 cigars. So uh, take your pick. That one's uh, $27, and this small one here was $19. Got them on Amazon. They have coupon codes all day. I think the small one you got like two dollars off, and the big one was like uh, ten percent off or something like that. Not really sure. Um, little dropper thingy so you can soak up your distilled water. I never use these things. I just pour straight Gavone style right into the uh, hydrometer. So a little dusty. Uh, definitely needs to be cleaned off before. I use it. This is your little floral pack insert inside of here with a little screen. And you put this inside your humidor. They give you a thin little sheet of Spanish cedar, which is nice. And some instructions. So here we go. If you guys want to pause this and read all about it, but Basic instructions, tells you where you should keep your humidity at, and uh, put approximately 10 drops of water, yada, yada, yada. I don't do that. Like I said, I fill it up until it don't hold no more water. I drop it in, throw my cigars, and you're good to go. You don't have to season this because it's acrylic, so you don't have to worry about like how the wood ones, you got to season, you got to maintain it, you got to do... You don't have that issue with these, that's why I got this particular box. Um, acrylic or glass is so much easier and you know aesthetically it looks nice this is the desktop uh, humidor as they like to call it it looks nice I like the fact that it's clear obviously so I could see my cigars I'm gonna keep this probably somewhere in my office maybe uh, I was also thinking about I wanted to get a small box like this this might be a little big but for my vehicle uh, just so when I'm going out or you know, throw a couple of cigars in here. If I'm going away for the weekend, I can put a stack of cigars in here. It's hard. And it's something a little nicer than the, you know, black hard plastic travel cases. Dual purpose. Again, you want to keep it in your office. You want to keep it wherever. And it's also light enough to be a travel style. So it's only a pound and a half. The bigger one's two pounds. But, you know, again, just something a little nicer to take with you as opposed to the hard black plastic one. That's basically it for this. Uh, if you guys are looking for a small box to store your cigars in, I would definitely give this a look on Amazon. Um, maybe even consider getting the bigger one. I don't know, but it's definitely a nice product. It has the seal, the gasket all the way around it. It has a nice tight locking lid, which I enjoy. That's going to keep everything good inside. And uh, once again, you don't have to worry about seasoning this. If you leave this out, you don't have to worry about it keeping it this full or anything like that because, again, you could fill it, throw it in, throw your cigars in, and nothing here absorbs the 
moisture inside the unit. So it's going to be just your cigars that, that are there to absorb it. With the wood ones, you have to season them. You have to make sure that they always have humidity inside of it. This way they don't go bad. And once they start, the seal around it, you don't have to deal with any of that stuff with the acrylic ones. So if you guys want to do something a little easier, save yourself some time and not have to worry about seasoning or any of that, get yourself acrylic. Check this out. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys for watching. Take care.